Well, Johnson C. Smith University is now trying to figure out how to restart classes this fall while protecting students from the virus. Anchor Blaine Tollison spoke with the school's president, who said he's trying to get things back open by September 8th. We have uh, removed the fall break, uh, and we would expect that all of our traditional students, uh, should we be able to open, will leave by Thanksgiving. And COVID has impacted our black and brown neighbors quite heavily and, and, and more than our other communities. Uh, has that affected JCSU in any way? Uh, sure, um, you know, w one of the challenges is that as our students disperse and leave from uh, the, the, the uh, confines of a Johnson C. Smith, many of them are returning to communities uh, that are really not as well resourced as we just talked about. Uh, and so they face the challenges that uh, that the that inequality has created in terms of access to health care, even access to the Internet. Uh, so there are a lot of challenges when we send our students home that are created uh, by the inequalities uh, and the health disparities, as we as you were kind of alluding to. And when you compound that with COVID-19, it really makes for some very challenging circumstances for all of our community. How much will be allowed as far as on campus living, on campus learning? Right, we are we are proceeding and trying to follow the uh, CDC guidelines in terms of social distancing. Uh, to that end, it is very likely that our student classes will be split up into kind of A and B cohorts, uh, if you will, with certain students in class maybe one week and others not in class at the same time and them switching week to week. Uh, so we're now going through making sure that our classrooms uh, meet the CDC guidelines in terms of social distancing. Uh, we will uh, attempt to do screenings of everyone who comes on the campus, probably daily, uh, which would include uh, students, faculty, staff, visitors, answering a series of questions, indicating whether or not they may have some type of symptoms that might suggest that they may be ill. We won't know, uh, quite frankly, if they are uh, COVID uh, positive or not. Uh, and uh, we hope to in, in also employ uh, uh, screenings with respect to temperature checks as well.